Good morning, everybody. I'm Jonathan Ross here at Echo by Gainesville Health and Fitness. Today, I'm going to go over part one of a full body workout for you to do outside or any place that you've got access to a pull-up rig. All right, so the first exercise that we're gonna do as part of this full body circuit is going to be chin-ups. Real quick, I wanna address the difference between chin-ups and pull-ups. While they both work your lats to a great degree, chin-ups are going to emphasize your biceps more because they're going to be underhand, incorporating those muscles right here into the exercise, whereas you're going to incorporate your traps a lot more when you do an overhand grip that's a little bit wider. So let's go ahead and hop on the bar. We're gonna do anywhere from five to 10 chin-ups, depending on where you're at and your abilities. All right, so if you're just starting out, maybe you don't grab onto a bar first thing, maybe you work your way up with an assisted pull-up or dip bar or machine rather, which you can find inside of the gym, but you're gonna walk up to the bar, take a nice close grip for me in this instance, and you're just gonna pull yourself up, get that chin over the bar, hence the name of the exercise, lower yourself back down to full extension, and then back up again anywhere from five to 10 times. All right, the second part of this circuit is going to be wall sits. Pretty simple, it's exactly like it sounds. You're gonna go find a nice wall or a post like this to put your back up against flat, making sure that you're not hunched over. The idea is you wanna reach 90 degrees on that, but if you're not quite there yet, give yourself a little grace and work at with whichever angle is best for you starting out. Let's try and hold that wall sit from anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. Right after you wrap up your wall sit, we're gonna transition over to dips where you're gonna work out those triceps. You go ahead and find yourself some bars that look like this. You can even use the assisted dip machine, which I mentioned earlier. Grab about the center of the bar. You're going to push her up to full extension and then slowly lower yourself back down. Make sure your arms are at about a 90 degree angle and then you're gonna push yourself back up. Do anywhere from five to 10 reps once again whatever your abilities will allow. All right, now we're gonna transition back into another leg exercise. This is gonna be my variation on a frog squat, which is a great version of the squat if you're trying to work both your hamstrings and your quads in one go. So you wanna go ahead and hinge just like you would for a typical squat. You're gonna sit that butt back, but now you're going to kind of lean forward, press your big toes into the ground with your thumb and drop your butt almost all the way down to your heels while lifting those heels. Now they're gonna to touch and on each rep here, here, you're going to press those heels into the ground while extending your legs and you're going to feel a nice pull in your hamstrings. You don't want to go till it hurts, just a nice little pull and come back down, lifting those heels into your butt cheeks again and do about 10 to 15 reps of that. All right guys, hopefully this gave you an idea of some things that you can do outside that require no actual weights for you to lift. Make sure you're staying hydrated. It is getting hot. It's 85 degrees today. Once again, I'm Jonathan Ross from Gainesville Health and Fitness. Have a good one.